All right, wonderful humans. Today we are going to be making our perfect cylinder. So this is hollow and is going to be made entirely out of um, coils. So again, first you're gonna start with your nice wedge clay, which I've already wedged. Um, and you're gonna start by rolling your coil. So if you remember from the coil video, um, you always want to kind of start with a sphere of clay. So I've got my cup of water here too. So start with a little sphere of clay Put a little water on your hands and just kind of roll the sphere in between your palms um, to make it round and again like enough water to smooth out the cracks but not too much water that you can't roll it and then just take kind of take your thumb and smooth out any cracks there um, kind of as you go and then remember to roll a coil then you just start kind of by rolling it in between your two palms once it becomes longer than the size of your two palms, then you're gonna put it onto the table where you're then going to roll it um, out to get kind of one long coil and just keep kind of adding water to it as you go. Think about kind of pulling out as you roll um, and you're trying to have the thickness of the coil be the same thickness. Um, put a little closer. So again, pinky thickness is really kind of key here because you don't want to go too thick. You don't want to go too thin. Um, and we're going to start by making the base of the cylinder, which is going to be um, a circle. And remember to start the base of any coil, you're going to spiral it up kind of like a cinnamon roll, right? So once you get, again, pinky thickness, all the way throughout, put a little bit of water on it, and then you're just gonna take it and you're gonna twist it onto itself so that it's touching, okay? Because you don't wanna have any gaps, and then you're just gonna kinda continue to twist it. Um, or you can take this end and kinda wrap it around um, to make your little base, okay? And then again, we're going for the same, we're going for about three by three. So go ahead and take that and just kinda smooth it out to start popsicle stick or if you have your little card um, are great and I'm just kind of going to smooth the coils out because we don't want to have any lines we want to kind of hide how we built this right we want it to just look perfectly smooth we don't want it to look like it was made with coil and then flip it over and do the same thing to this side so I'm just kind of smoothing the little lines where the coils were across. And then I kind of like to take this around, kind of smooth that as well. Um, okay, so, and again, the we're going for three inches tall and about three inches wide. Um, so I'm not totally there yet, so I'm just gonna do one more coil around. And again, so you just kind of pull the piece off. So I'm not gonna demo the entire thing with you just cause it's a little bit too time consuming. So I'm gonna show you how to make the base, um, which is the same exact way that you make the top, right? The base and the top are both fully sealed. Um, and then I'm gonna show you just how to attach like one, maybe two. Um, and then I'm gonna do just a time lapse for the rest of it so you can kind of see it. Okay, so I'm just, again, roll it into a ball, rolling that clay in between my palms until it becomes larger than the width of my hand. Okay, and then onto your fabric swatch to kind of roll out. Yeah. Whoops. And again, plenty of water um, as you go. If you notice that the clay is flattening out, um, use a little bit less pressure because that is coming from you just pressing down, rolling it, pressing it down. So you really wanna think about kind of, again, pulling the clay and just gently rolling it back and forth um, to keep it rounded because it's much more difficult to work with when it is super flat. And it also, um, again, it's thin on one side and thick on the other side when it's flat. Okay, so again, pinky thickness kind of throughout. I'm trying to get enough to go all the way around, so I'm just gonna roll on the wider parts a little bit more and I'm, again, I'm just gently kind of pulling it as I go so that it is long enough to go all the way around and then remember to attach, just kind of score around to both. A little bit of slip, just slips 
kind of dry, so a little bit of water on my slip. Okay, and then just kind of stick it on. Trim off the little tail here. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing that we did before, just kind of smoothing the coil on so that we can't see this little, um, this line in between the two. Cause that's just a spot where air could get in and cause the clay to um, crack. Okay, and now we are three by three, might even be a little bit wider so we can trim this down a little or just kind of scrape it down. Remember the clay does shrink a little bit, um, but you try to, you're trying to go for a, as exact as possible. Um, okay, so again, smoothing the bottom and the top to create like this little kind of cookie-like disc. Um, and then I just kind of like to take my popsicle stick along the edge just to kind of um, smooth that out, kind of round it out if any parts are looking not so round, and then just always be kind of measuring. So mine is a little bit thicker. I might just kind of perform a teensy bit of surgery. Just because again, you want to start with the exact size that you want. Um, there we go, that looks a bit better. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you kind of how to build it up. And again, I'm only gonna do maybe one or two, time permitting. Um, so again, to keep going, grab another kind of about the same size piece of clay um, that you did to go all the way around. And again, you're just rolling it in between your palms. Um, again, my hands are already getting pretty dry just from, you know, touching the clay. So make sure that you're always grabbing water and adding it onto there. Um, and then just roll that clay. You always wanna start with a sphere and you always wanna make sure that that sphere doesn't have any cracks in it. So again, smoothing out those cracks with um, water on your hands is going to be key here. And then if it gets too wet, you just gotta wipe your hands on the fabric and roll it on here. So once you have your smooth, somewhat sphere, then start rolling the coil. So again, decent amount of pressure in between the palms. It's gonna start to kind of look like, like a baby carrot. And then again, you don't wanna roll the entire thing in between your palms because then parts are gonna become uneven. So once it becomes wider than here, that's when it goes onto the table. And then that's when you start kind of rolling this guy. And again, notice how I'm always just kind of adding water to it as I go. Um, smoothing out those cracks as I go, because if you have a crack now, it's just gonna be a bigger crack later, right? Okay. So again, you're just kind of rolling, pulling from the center out. If you notice some parts are thicker than others, kind of roll on those a little more. Don't roll on the parts that are getting too thin to make them thinner. Okay, and then you just want to make your coil big enough to go directly onto the top. Okay, so this has actually gotten a little bit too large. So I'm just gonna, again, kind of trim a piece off of there. And now that's like perfect. Okay, so you don't want to exceed this because you want it to be straight up like a cylinder. If you put this on the outside, it's going to start getting wider. And if you put it on the inside, it's going to start getting skinnier. So you want to just go directly onto the top. Okay. Obviously we can't just stick this on here because Cooper's just going to come over and peel it off. So we got to do those three S's, score, slip, smooth, right? Okay. So you can take your um, knife. You can also take, if you have your paper clip, which I guess I don't. So we'll just use the knife. So, okay, I'm just making these marks, right? These teeth to kind of grab onto. So I'm doing that onto the um, base and then I'm doing that onto my coil as well, okay? So again, you're just kind of roughing up the surface so that it can grab on a bit easier, okay? And then that's when your slip has gotten a little bit. So again, if your slip dries out or if it's just getting a little bit too, Tough, just kind of add some water to it, okay? And then you're gonna paint some slip on to both parts. And this is your temporary glue that's gonna hold these two things together. 
um, until you smooth them, right? So score, slip, smooth, three S's, okay? So now that I've scored and slipped both, I'm gonna taste this, place this scored slip side onto this scored slip side, and I'm just gonna kind of press it down to kind of grab on, okay? And that should hold pretty well. Like if I took it and shook it upside down, it's not gonna fall off, but it doesn't look great, right? Because we want it to be completely smooth. So now the final step, I'm gonna smooth. So start by smoothing the inside. Take your popsicle stick and you're gonna smooth some of the clay down onto the base, okay? And then you're gonna smooth it kind of over to kind of hide this gap in between where the two things are connected, okay? And you're gonna do that kind of all the way around. I like to kind of protect the outside while I'm doing this so that I don't poke through. And again, the popsicle stick is great for this because it is a little bit rounded. Um, and it's just a little bit stronger than like if you were to do with your hands, okay? So I'm just smoothing down, smoothing over, because um, this is what's really going to make it actually stay and make it sealed. And this is gonna be really important when later on down the line you build a like a larger coil vase, you're gonna want that to hold water. And if you have gaps in between the coils, um, the water is just gonna sneak out and that's gonna um, leak and it's gonna make you sad. Okay, and then I like to take my little sponge tool to just do kind of some finishing, smoothing along the inside after I've done that. And notice there's no lines now or gaps in between. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the outside. Okay, so a little bit of water. Okay, and I'm smoothing it kind of down onto this and then kind of over, okay? and kind of over. Okay, and you can also use your card for this. Again, I just like the popsicle stick just because it's a little bit, it's not as sharp as like this, so it creates like a softer edge, okay? So notice diff the difference between here and here, right? This hasn't been smoothed and I can see that it's coil. This has been smoothed and I can't see at all how it was made. So the goal of these projects is to get you to practice the hand building techniques, um, as well as kind of understand how to physically construct things in a way that is going to look really, really nice when they're done, but kind of like disguise how you got to that point. Um, there, again, there will be a project later that we make where you show the coils intentionally as part of your design, but in this, in this instance, we're just trying to kind of learn the technique and practice how to make something look perfect, okay? So again, I'm just taking that sponge tool and just kind of smoothing out what I've done here to, um, again, just refine it, score slip and smooth, right? So smoothing is that final step, okay? So I am gonna kind of leave this here and then I'm gonna do a time lapse for the rest so that you can see me build it up to kind of like the three inches tall. Um, so again, you just score slip and smoothing all the way up as you go. And then to make the bait, to make the top, you make it the exact same as the base. Um, just to make the top, you're gonna want it to get leather hard before you attach it so it doesn't slump down. Um, so yeah, good luck and have fun.